Hi, and welcome to Lackey Pool. My name is Margie Gray, and I'm the Aquatic Supervisor, and I want to introduce you to my team. This is Suleiman. He's the pool manager at Lackey Indoor Pool. And this is Mackenzie, and she's the pool manager at the Donald Wade Aquatic Center. And that is Ethan, and he is the pool manager at North Point High School. May is National Water Safety Month. We're going to go over a couple of things so that you can be safe with your friends. Hi, my name is Ethan, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about life jackets. Our life jackets come in three different sizes. We have child size, youth size, and adult size. To figure out what size is right for you, you're going to look on this little tag right here where it says the specified weight. All of our life jackets are approved by the United States Coast Guard. If you look right here, you'll see the stamp that says approved by the US Coast Guard. For those of you that do not know, the Coast Guard is a branch of the military that is tasked with guarding our waterways and keeping everybody safe by the shore. So when you're out buying life jackets, make sure it's Coast Guard approved. Now we're gonna show you the correct way to put on a life jacket. Step one, you're gonna take your head and put it through this head hole right here, just like that. Step two, you're gonna take this strap. You're going to look for the buckle at the end of the strap and slide it right through this little hole. You're gonna pull that all the way through, make sure it's nice and tight. And then you're gonna take this strap and wrap it all the way around your back. Nice and snug. Buckle it into the buckle, and the very last step is to tighten this right here, and you're gonna test to make sure it's nice and tight so you're good and safe on the water. So if you're ever in your backyard pool and you find yourself in trouble, think about what you have available to you to help out the person that needs help. We can start with things that everybody should have in their home, a broom. A simple broom you can use to reach out, extend your reach, and keep yourself out of danger but maybe be able to extend some assistance to somebody in the water who needs help. At a pool in most of our backyards, we also are probably going to have a towel to dry you off afterwards. If you are able to use a towel to dry yourself off and you have it nearby, you can also use this to extend your reach. One of the simple ways that we talk about extending your reach with a towel is reaching down and passing it out to your victim. Um, almost an underhand throw. It's important to make sure you keep a good grip on the towel so they're not out there with the towel as a hindrance to their ability to swim. So one of the things we do is we'll take the end of the towel just like this. You'll grab it and shake its hand and then take it and wrap it once around your hand. This gives you a very secure grip. Then when you go to pass it to your victim, make sure they know why you're passing it out to them. Yell to them, grab the towel. Once they grab it, you pull them in and make sure that they're okay. And finally, another item that we have at most of our pools would be a pool noodle um, or a toy of some sort that can extend your reach. Um, this again would be an item you could use to extend your reach out to the victim without putting yourself in danger. When you use any of these devices, you'll need to get down on one knee, brace yourself so you're safe, extend it out to your victim, yell to them to grab the tool that you're using, and then pull them in back to safety and make sure that they are okay before you move on. Another tool that you could use for your backyard or if you're on a boat or if you're out at like Gilbert Run and you see somebody that needs some help, if you have a jug nearby, whether it's a juice jug, whether it's a jug of milk, whether it's an empty Tropicana, or it could be a um, laundry detergent tub, and you have some rope, you can easily make a device to be able to throw out to somebody that's further away from the shoreline or the side of the pool deck. Um, and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you take the rope, tie it nice and tight. And as you can see in kind of here, it's kind of light. So what you also wanna make sure that you do is put a little bit of water in it to give it a little bit of weight. So when you're tossing it out to your victim, it's not just gonna fly anywhere, it's gonna go right over their shoulder to where you want it to be so they can grab onto the rope to be towed in. We appreciate you all tuning in today to watch some of our safety tips. And remember that the May is Water Safety Month. So if you have any questions or you wanna look up our pool hours or see all of our locations, please visit www.charlescountyparks.com and click on the Recreation tab and you'll find Aquatics right there. We hope to see you around.